word that best describes winning a premiership is uh, emotion. Jubilation, relief. Amazing. The first one in 89 was, um, was just extraordinary and you know, 90 it was relief. Yeah, when you win a premiership, um, there's lots of different emotions. Obviously, um, you know, you've trained all year to be there on that day. Uh, there's been some tough times throughout the season. Um, some players miss out through injury. Um, some players carry injuries into the games. Um, a lot of pressure, a lot of expectation. Um, and to finally do it, um, given that there's you know, 12 months of work gone into something like that, uh, it's pretty special. I think it's a realisation that um, this is what you work for all season. You know, going back to the year before in November and at the start of pre-season, we, we really judged our, our pre-seasons, um, especially as players who didn't like it. <laughs> so then to come forward to September and, uh, you know, you're playing spring footy and you get away with the title, uh, as, as I said, that's just a relief that all that hard work you, you went through. Uh, you know, it's come to fruition and you've done it with your mates. Euphoric, I think, you know, you never really feel them sort of emotions uh, that often in life, let alone um, playing rugby league, so yeah, euphoric. Well, obviously it was extra time, it was, it was my first premiership, uh, being involved with the club to make a grand final, and uh, so it was just absolute, you know, ecstatic really, to win it under the circumstances in particular. Probably numbing more than anything. You, you know you're gonna, well you go out to win the game and and you end up winning it and it's numbing. You look up and you cuddle your mates. I actually feel sorry for the opposition because I've been in that position a couple of times. But it's just numbing and probably when it, the reality comes into it is back at the Leafs Club when you have a couple of drinks. It's jubilation. I, I, I look back at some of the clips and you know, you don't watch it that often and and you sort of, you know, you're looking around for someone to hug. It's like, you know, if you get lost, you get caught up and everyone's there and you just, you just feel pumped and you just, you just, you know, want to be with the boys and, and, you know, obviously there's media and everything around you saying, oh, we just, we just want to just leave us, savour this moment. When we won in 95 uh, against Manly, all I wanted to do is go and see me, me kids and my wife because it was supposed to be my last game. And uh, we won the game and I, and players just started huggling and throwing them in the air and things like that. So all I wanted to do is go to see my family. That's all I wanted to do. You're that excited because um, you've worked so hard for it um, and it's taken a year. Relief, <laughs> it's just sheer relief. In the 97 grand final, it was just pure joy and, and, and adulation. But um, in 2001, you know, we were, we were so far in front at half time. I sort of was hoping they were going to stop the game so we could celebrate there and then. So it was hard not to have a beer at half time when you're winning 28 nil or whatever it was. So it was relief, I'll be honest. When the siren went, they sort of made a late surge, Parramatta, and the referee, Bill Harrigan, God bless him, gave them plenty of penalties and opportunities to get back in the game. But uh, they weren't uh, quite good enough, so it was just relief the second time. But um, it's, it's a bizarre feeling. You just want it to be over so you get to celebrate with everyone. You've probably got to wait for about an hour until you really sit down as a team. Um, and really relax, look at each other. Um, you know, there's cuddles and kisses going on, there's family in, there's kids in, there's parents in. Um, it's a great feeling just to have your own there. And once the team get, gets back on the bus, that's when it starts.